There were two animals. They were unlikely as a pair. There were two animals, and one was a duck, and one was a dog. Who would have thought that they'd be around to fight crime? But here they are. A disco duck and a disco dog together. A disco dog and a disco duck fight crime. A disco dog and a disco duck fight crime. I. One day the dog was just sitting in the doghouse, and he took out his phone and he called the duck. He said, "Hey, duck! There's a cat down the street, and it's causing a bunch of crime. Come on over, duck. We gotta plan out how to get rid of the cat that's causing all the crime. It's such a shame." And the duck said, "Wah." He came on over. A dog and a duck fighting crime. It's just a disco dog and a disco duck fighting crime. So the dog. And the duck, they started planning things out. They got all the blueprints together and they started to write things down. He said, "You go over here, and I'll go over there, and we're gonna take care of this cat." But what's the cat even doing? Well, the cat was stealing all the dog food in the neighborhood. Dog food in the neighborhood. The dog doesn't like that, and the duck's in love with the dog. That's a plot twist. So the duck's gonna help the dog do anything. It's just a disco dog and a disco duck fighting crime, fighting crime. It's just a disco dog and a disco duck. Fighting crime. And the duck played the bass for a second. Now it's time to plan out the attack. Okay, here's what we're gonna do, Duck. Listen up. We're gonna walk down Fourth Street. We're gonna go right up to that cat, and I need you to use your crazy quack duck powers to scare the cat. Whack! What are you talking about? I don't have any duck powers. I just go whack. Well, that's what I'm saying. You gotta go up to the cat and make the noise. The cat's expecting me. He's not expecting a duck like you. Whack. Okay. So they went up to the cat on Fourth Street, and they decided it was time to fight this crime. So the cat was just doing his thing, hoarding all the dog food. And next thing you know, you heard a noise. You heard quack, 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 quack. 
It's just a disco dog and a disco duck fighting crime. It's a disco dog and a disco duck fighting crime. It gets real quiet and the cat turns around. And when he turns around, he looks at the dog and the duck and he says, I know you two. You're the disco dog and the disco duck. I'm not playing these games. I got this dog food. You're not gonna have it. And then the dog looked right at the cat and he said, Wait a second. Why do you... Why do you even have dog food? Like, you're a cat. Eat cat food. What's wrong with you? Well, then the cat looked and said, You know what? You're right. Why do I even have any dog food? I'm a cat. But you know what? I don't care. I want to be a dog. Can I be a dog? Please let me be a dog. Please. All of a sudden, the disco dog and the disco duck saw the cat for who he really was. He just wanted to be a dog. He wanted to fit in with the other animals in the neighborhood. So they decided to let the cat join them as they fight crime. They said, come on cat. You could be with us, we could be a three-piece, we could always fight crime together. And that's what they did. So now it's a disco dog and a disco duck and a disco cat fighting crime. It's a disco dog and a disco duck and a disco cat fighting crime. Now take us out Fighting crime It's a disco dog and a disco duck and a disco cat fighting crime together. It's just a disco dog and a disco duck fighting crime together. It's just a disco dog and a disco duck fighting crime together